problems with the Play Store can manifest itself in a variety of ways. The software may simply crash or fail to download in many circumstances. If your Galaxy Tab A's Play Store app won't launch or keeps crashing, this video is for you. When attempting to utilize the Google Play Store app, ensure that your internet connection whether Wi-Fi or mobile data, is solid and not sporadic. Try running a speed test to verify whether your internet connection is indeed sluggish. Anything slower than 3 Mbps may have an impact on Play Store app downloads. If you're using a Wi-Fi connection, the same advice should apply if your current connection is slow. Try connecting to another wireless network to increase your internet speed. You can try to close and restart the Play Store app to see if that will help. Here's how to do that. Open Settings app, tap Apps, find and tap the Play Store app, tap for Stop. If restarting the program does not work, the next step is to erase the Play Store app cache. When there is a performance or freezing issue with an app, this typically works. Clear the app cache first and see if that helps. This is how it's done. Open Settings app. Tap Apps, find and tap the Play Store app, tap Storage, tap Clear Cache button. If nothing changes after clearing the app cache, try clearing the app data. The internal storage capacity of the Galaxy Tab is restricted. It's conceivable that yours has run out of space, which prevents the Play Store from downloading and installing apps and updates. To avoid experiencing this sort of problem, try to have at least one gigabyte of storage space available at all times. If the current available space on your computer is less than one gigabyte, consider deleting non-system important files such as images, movies, and music. You might also try using an SD card and transferring your data to it. For some Android users, their Play Store issues are sometimes caused by bad data on Download Manager app. What you can do is to clear the data of the Download Manager app and see if that will change anything. Open Settings app. Tap Apps. If you're looking for a system or default app, tap on More Options at the upper right. Select Show System Apps. Find and tap the Download Manager app. Tap Storage. Tap Clear Data button. Google Play Services is a system program that aids the Play Store app. If this app misbehaves, it may cause problems with other apps that it supports. Make sure that you clear the Google Play Services data with these steps. Open Settings app. Tap Apps. If you're looking for a system or default app, Tap on More Options at the upper right, select Show System Apps, find and tap the Google Play Services app, tap Storage, tap Clear Data button. Make sure that your internet connection is stable and fast, open Settings app, tap Apps. If you're looking for a system or default app, tap on More Options at the upper right. Select Show System Apps. Find and tap Google Play Store. Tap More Options at the upper right. Tap Uninstall Updates. Oftentimes, deleting the registered Google account might assist in the resolution of Play Store issues. If the Play Store app still won't launch on your Galaxy Tab A, follow this troubleshooting step. To begin deleting a Google account from your device, follow these steps. Open Settings app. Tap Accounts and Backup. Tap Accounts. Select the appropriate Gmail address. If there are multiple accounts, make sure to pick the one you want to remove from the device. Tap Remove Account to confirm. Review the notification then tap Remove Account. Factory Reset is the ultimate diagnostic step and possibly solution to your problem. This should only be done as a last resort. The Factory Reset resets all software settings and deletes all personal data such as images videos, contacts, messages, and so on. Make a backup of them ahead of time. 
create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open Settings app, scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete all to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.